Echinomycetes. These are the organisms that uh, has the structural resemblance with the fungus as well as the bacteria. That's why they are called as the true bacteria. And the organisms that are, are involved in the actinomycosis of the cattle and the human. So these organisms were, uh, are the traditional forms and show the transitional uh, forms uh, between the fungus and the bacteria. The resemblance to the fungus is that they produce mycelial like filaments, uh, the branching filaments and uh, the characteristics of the bacteria is that they are thin and uh, they show a cell wall uh, having a muramic acid and a prokaryotic nuclei as uh, well as they are sensitive towards the antibiotics. Now because they uh, have the characteristic feature of the fungus as well as the bacteria they are called as actinomycetes and uh, they are true bacteria bacteria resembling the uh, fungal cells and uh, here uh, these organisms uh, show relation with the mycobacteria as well as the coronary bacteria they are gram positive some of the species are acid fast in nature they are non motile non sporing non capsulated can break down into branching filaments or uh, into the cocoid elements they are mostly free living in the soil and uh, the organism which are of medical interest uh, belong to the actinomycetes are usually the anaerobic uh, Actinomycetes, Rothia, Nocardia, Aerobic Nocardia, uh, Streptomycetes, etc. And uh, these uh, 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 organisms that are mostly involved in the human pathogen are anaerobic actinomycetes. So, uh, actinomycetes, which are anaerobic, uh, non acid fast, are the ones that causes the infection in the humans, as well as the, uh, the other uh, species belonging to this actinomycetes are the nocardia, which are aerobic in nature and they are acid fast. And apart from these two organisms, uh, the other causative agent of the human disease is the streptomycetes, but uh, it has more importance uh, towards the production of its antibiotics rather than the causation of the disease it is given importance uh, because it produces most of the antibiotics so the human infections are caused by two important group of actinomycetes which are anaerobic uh, actinomycetes and the aerobic nocardia Coming to the actinomyces, uh, this was first uh, identified by Bollinger in 1877 in a lumpy jaw, uh, which was uh, seen in uh, the cattle infection. So it was called as actinomycosis. So it was uh, in this lumpy jaw, this organism was first uh, described by Bollinger. The term uh, actinomyces uh, was given by uh, the scientist Haas, who coined it uh, as uh, the ray-like appearance. Sun ray-like appearance was seen in the granular lesions uh, that are produced by this organism. So because of the ray-like appearance they show, the term actinomyces was given, that is ray fungus. Now the organism uh, was first identified or isolated uh, from the human infection was by Wolf and Israel who were successfully able to isolate the organism from the human infection and transmit it to the experimental animals such as the rabbit, guinea pigs, etc. which showed the uh, same type of uh, uh, the disease disease that is caused in the experimental animal. So it was first isolated by, from the human infection by Wolf and Israeli, uh, Israel and hence uh, the organism that was isolated was a given name as Actinomyces Israeli which causes infection in the humans. The organism which is involved in the causation of the disease of the cattle is Actinomyces bovis. Coming to the disease actinomycosis, it is a chronic granulomatous uh, disease uh, which uh, the characteristic feature of this is it causes indurated swelling especially involving the connective tissues. Uh, superation is seen along with the presence of sulfur granules. The presence of sulfur granules is a characteristic feature of this particular disease and helps in identification of the organism in the lab diagnosis. Uh, it is usually caused to the skin which can lead to uh, multiple sinuses. So there is a discharging sinus Sinuses which contains the granules that helps in identification of the organism. It is mostly a human disease and uh, it is endogenous in nature because these actinomyces <clears throat> are usually the common cells of the humans. They are present in the mouth, the uh, intestines as well as the vagina. So any damage to this area can uh, lead to the infection with this type of organism. That is, uh, 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 there, if there is any foreign body damage or poor uh, oral hygiene, then this organism is able to invade that particular tissue and cause the infection leading to actinomycosis. And hence it is called as an endogenous infection. And the tissue invasion is only when there is uh, damage to the 
these areas that helps in the invasion of the organism and cause the disease. So the most prominent organism that is involved in actinomycosis is uh, actinomyces israeli. Apart from that, the other uh, species are also involved called as Nestlandi, actinomyces Nestlandi, viscosis and uh, <coughs> actinomycetes od odontolyticum. <coughs> Myri, uh, Gerexoni, and uh, Propionibacterium propionicum. This particular disease is uh, said to be a cooperative disease because it is not caused by a single type of organism but in combination with other bacterial diseases. Mostly caused by Bifidobacterium, Actinomyce Actinobacillus, Actinomycetum comitans, Echnella, and, uh, Echnella corrodens, and uh, we have uh, Haemophilus afro failures uh, and bacterioids. Apart from that, fusobacteria and stepto stephalococci and anaerobic uh, streptococci can also help in causation of the disease. Because this organism does not cause disease alone, but with the help of other bacteria, it is called as a cooperative disease. Now coming to the clinical forms of this disease, there are four clinical forms of this disease that have been identified affecting different parts of the body. First is the cervicofacial uh, which involves the cheek and the submaxillary region. Next is the thoracic which involves the lung uh, where the peri, uh, pericardium uh, muscles can also be involved or the peri, uh, pleura of the lungs uh, are usually involved where the inflammation can take place uh, because of this particular lesions and uh, can uh, progress towards the chest wall and uh, coming to the abdominal uh, the cecum is mostly involved along with the neighboring tissues and the abdominal wall this uh, infection can also be transmitted to the lungs via the portal vein next is uh, the pelvic uh, actinomycosis or uh, the pelvic form uh, which is uh, seen only in the female who uses intrauterine devices so it is uh, uh, because of the intrauterine de uh, devices which is not sterile in nature can lead to the infection of the actinomycetes Next is uh, this organism is not only involved in this uh, four clinical form but is also said to cause gingivitis and periodontitis that is uh, the gum uh, inflammation when there is a poor oral hygiene uh, involving the sublingual plagues and uh, leading to root surface caries. Uh, the presence of mycetoma can also be seen in this particular infections. And the coming to the lab diagnosis, uh, the lab diagnosis is usually done uh, by the uh, granules that are formed uh, during the lesions in the particular disease and uh, uh, appearance of the granules or uh, identification of the organism in the microscopy. Next is isolation of the organism in the cultural media. The specimen that is mostly used is a pus in this particular uh, uh, disease and in the pulmonary diseases, uh, the sputum can be taken as a specimen. And the observation of the sulfur granules use uh, in the microscopy helps in demonstration of the organism and identification of the organism. The sulfur granules uh, can be collected from the uh, discharging sinuses and uh, they are usually taken in a test tube mixed with the saline and uh, the, when the granules settles they can be extracted with the help of a capillary pipette or directly we can collect the discharge, uh, granules from the discharging sinuses with the help of a sterile gauze pan. Now these uh, granules are uh, collected and taken on a cover slip and then they are crushed between the slide and the cover slip and observed under the microscope. The appearance of uh, gram positive thin filaments or a thin gram positive filaments surrounded by um, uh, the uh, club shaped structures uh, which appear which gives a sun ray like appearance and hence uh, this uh, particular characteristic feature is taken as a positive for the actinomycosis that is uh, the sun uh, the Coming to the lab diagnosis, how do we identify this organism and the lab? Uh, they can we can go with the demonstration of the organism that is uh, from the sulfur granules that they produce under the microscopy or isolation of the organism in a cultural media or a specific media that is used to isolate the organism. Coming to the specimen that is used uh, over here is a pus because there is a multiple uh, discharging sinuses that are related to this disease. Uh, the pus can be taken as a specimen, and in the case of pulmonary disease. Uh, uh, the specimen is a sputum. Uh, then demonstration of the sulfur granules can be done in the laboratory. The sulfur granules are mixed with the saline in a test tube and uh, the, uh, the precipitate that is usually formed at the bottom is taken with the help of a capillary pipette and absorbed under the microscope. Apart from that, uh, direct sulfur granules uh, or the granules can be collected from the discharging uh, sinuses uh, with the help of a sterile gauze pad. Once collected, uh, they are usually placed on a cover slip and crushed 
difference between the slide and the cover slip and observed under the microscope. Uh, here, uh, the characteristic feature of this is uh, the, uh, under the microscope, they appear as thin gram positive filaments that are surrounded by the club shaped, radiating club shaped, and hence giving uh, the structure similar to that of the sun ray like appearance. And uh, the clubs that are seen uh, in under the microscopes are uh, thought to be due to the antigen antibody complex. So, irrespective of whatever it is, the sun ray like appearance under the microscopes helps in identifying the particular organism. Next, coming to the culture, this organism can be very well grown on uh, liquid as well as a solid media. The media that is uh, used uh, uh, to grow this organism is a thioglycolate media. Now, because this organism is anaerobic in nature, they have to be kept at anaerobic condition at 37 degrees centigrade. So, two media that are used is a thioglycolate medium, which is a uh, uh, liquid medium and brain heart, brain heart infusion uh, agar that is a solid medium. So, in a liquid medium that is a thioglycolate medium, the sample is uh, inoculated that is a sulfur granule or the pus has been inoculated directly and uh, uh, incubated at 37 degrees centigrade uh, in anaerobic condition. Uh, the Acteromyces bovis usually forms turbidity uh, in a liquid media whereas Actinomyces israeli usually forms fluffy balls at the bottom. So the presence of fluffy balls at the bottom indicates a positive reaction. On a solid media uh, that is a brain heart infusion agar uh, the organism uh, Actinomyces israeli usually forms spidery colony within 48 to 72 hours which on further incubation for uh, 10 days can result in heaping of the colonies uh, showing white uh, irregular or smooth uh, colonies which are large in nature. Now these colonies uh, are usually um, then uh, further ahead they are confirmed with the help of microscopy and biochemical reactions. Apart from that we can use more sophisticated techniques such as fluorescent antibody techniques. Gel diffusion and immunofluorescence are uh, immunofluorescence is mostly used to distinguish between actinomyces israelis and the other filamentous organism that produces similar type of granules in their disease. So in order to distinguish that we can go with the uh, gel diffusion and immunofluorescence. Now coming to the epidemiology of this disease, uh, this disease was thought to be a worldwide uh, disease but uh, the cases have completely come down after the treatment with the uh, antibiotics and it is now only uh, uh, disease of the rural areas uh, affecting the agricultural workers etc. And uh, among them uh, young males are mostly affected between 10 to 30 years. Uh, the reason for this is uh, unknown but it is said that only the young people with a poor oral hygiene are said to uh, be infected with this particular disease and 60% of the diseases is because of the cervical facial and 20% is abdominal and uh, in women it uh, is usually causing uh, pelvic actinomycosis uh, because of the use of intrauterine devices. Coming to the treatment aspect, uh, penicillin and tetracycline for a prolonged period of time can treat this particular disease and uh, if uh, not treated then can go with the surgery to, to eliminate the infection. Coming to the other group of organisms that is the actinomycetes, uh, the aerobic form is a nocardia. Here the organism uh, nocardia is aerobic, uh, gram positive but mostly it is acid fast in nature. So among the uh, nocardia, the group of organisms that are acid fast are nocardia asteroids and brazilensis. These uh, nocardia are usually present in the soil and they causes the exogenous infection uh, rather than the actinomycetes which causes the endogenous endogenous infection, this organism is the one that causes exogenous infection. And the three important types of infection caused by this organism is cutaneous, subcutaneous and systemic. And uh, the organism involved in the causation of the disease are N asteroids, N brazilensis and KBA. Coming to the cutaneous infection, uh, this is cat characterized by local abscesses, cellulitis, lymphocutaneous lesions. Uh, these are the three important characteristic features of the cutaneous infection. Now coming to the subcutaneous, it is also called as actinomycetes, uh, mycetoma uh, or actinomycotic mycetoma which we will be studying in the next slide in detail. Now coming to the systemic infection which is uh, caused by N asteroids uh, uh, which is mostly involved in the systemic nocardiasis uh, involving uh, the lung lesions or uh, the uh, it also causes the pneumonia and the lesions of the other important organs. Uh, metastatic involvement or the metastatic uh, manifestation can also be seen in the brain, kidney and the other organs. 
uh, now coming uh, to the lab diagnosis of this particular uh, infection that is anocardia uh, microscopic uh, observation in the from the lesions uh, uh, containing branching filaments of the organism can be taken as a, a prognostic test or the presumptive test uh, which can be further confirmed with the help of cultural uh, media uh, this organism grows very well in an ordinary media and the type of colonies that they produce on an ordinary media are uh, dry granular wrinkled colonies and are able to produce pigment that ranges from red to yellow so the presence of pigmented colonies helps in identifying this nocardia species and the treatment is usually done with the help of cotrimaxazole which is given for a prolonged period of time apart from that minocycline amic acid and ciprotaxim are other uh, choice of antibiotics that are used to eliminate the infection now coming to the actinomycotic mycetoma that is a subcutaneous infection uh, of this uh, nocardia it is a localized chronic granuloma that is formed uh, due to the production of the lesion in the subcutaneous layer or the deep tissues of uh, involving mostly the foot rather than the hands so very rarely we can see on the hand but mostly they cause the deep uh, uh, tissue inflammations of the foot uh, apart from that they also present tumors and multiple discharging sinuses uh, this uh, clinical syndrome of this particular disease was first uh, seen in madura by the gill and hence uh, the organism was called as a, uh, the clinical syndrome was called as madura mycosis and uh, the mycetoma are uh, the ones that are usually produced by the fungi but uh, apart from fungus uh, there are certain bacteria that are also able to produce the mycetoma uh, for example uh, the anaerobic staph that has the ability to produce the mycetoma like structure called as botryomycosis during its infection the lesion is called as a botryomycosis and uh, 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 as told mycetoma is only a characteristic feature of the fungus but they also called by the also caused by the bacteria the bacterial involvement over here is uh, from the actinomyces the uh, species involved over here is actinomyces israeli and actinomyces bovis and nocardia nocardia asteroids nocardia brasilensis and nocardia kva and actinomadura uh, that is uh, actinomadurae and actino um, pele uh, pele pele and uh, coming to the streptomyces, uh, streptomyces somaliensis is the organism uh, that is involved in the production of the mycetoma. Now, when you are going for the histological uh, uh, treatment, that is for treatment aspect, we should very well know which type of organism is usually causing this particular disease. That is, the histological uh, diagnosis of the disease is very important because this mycetoma is not only caused by the fungi but also by the bacteria, and hence establishing the causative agent is very important for the treatment aspect so the way to distinguish between uh, the fungal mycetoma and the bacterial mycetoma is the production of the granules pigmented granules that makes us to distinguish between the u mycetoma and the actinomycetoma in the actinomycetoma uh, they usually form white or yellow granules which are very thin in nature that is one micrometer whereas uh, the u mycotic mycetoma the granules that are produced are black in nature measuring about four to five micrometer so this is the way we can distinguish between uh, whether it is a bacterial mycetoma or a new mycetoma and once it is established the presence of the lesion and the granules when we can go for the treatment purpose next is uh, the actinomycetes uh, hypersensitivity pneumonitis so this organism also has the ability to cause hypersensitivity reaction hypersensitivity is an exaggerated immune response and the organism that is involved are mostly the thermophilic actinomycetes example phenia and saccharomonosporia uh, these organisms uh, spores when they are inhaled uh, they usually causes allergic alveolitis which can lead to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD also called as a farmer's lung so actinomycetes are the organism that causes actinomycosis and uh, apart from that they are also involved in the hypersensitivity reaction in allergic individual leading to farmer's lung